Hello ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? This is Jacob from JC TechSpot, and today I'll be doing a Yalu 102 video. Essentially what I'll be doing in this video is explaining to you a common problem and how to fix it. Many of you guys, as you know, with this jailbreak, um, it is only semi-tethered, meaning that after you jailbreak, using mainly most the most common uh, use or way to jailbreak is Cydia Impactor, um, you do install this application called Yalu 102, and what it does is pretty much it uh, jailbreaks your device, but if you do accidentally reboot your device, your battery dies, or pretty much it restarts for any reason, you will have to open this app and re-jailbreak. But what uh, many of you guys have been noticing is that when you go back to try to do it, it says Yalu 102 is no longer available. This may confuse some of you, especially those of you that have not been doing this for a very long time or are not really experienced with computers or uh, you know iPhones in general. You guys may not know what to do in this situation. Well, actually, there's a very, very, very easy method on how to fix this. Many of you guys may have gone to the internet already to figure this out, and although this is coming a very, very long time after the Yalu 102 jailbreak came out, there are still some confusion, especially with those of you who are new jailbreakers. I'll pretty much be um, kind of showing you guys how to fix this issue. Now, the most common method, once again, as I said before, uh, that was used to jailbreak is using Cydia Impactor, which you can see is right there on my computer. Cydia Impactor is pretty much an application that you can download for your computer that allows you to use your Apple ID to sign applications that Apple pretty much has not signed already, meaning apps that are not from the App Store or IPA files that you have installed on your computer. Now, what Apple did intended was that people that want to be app developers can make their own apps and then use Cydia Impactor to test them out on their, uh, their own devices. But unless you do have an Apple developer account, which only very few people have, and costs a lot of money, you can only sign apps for seven days at a time, which pretty much what it's doing when it says Yalu 102 is no longer available, that pretty much means that, you know, that your city impact or your, the time ran out. So pretty much there are a couple ways you can fix this, and here's the most common and safest one. Simply open up your computer and uh, open up Cydia Impactor. Next, you want to take your lightning cable and plug it into your computer and connect it to your phone, as I will do right now. As you can see, if you wait a bit, it should register, and your device name will pop up on the computer. Um, iTunes may open. Just go ahead and close that. This should be the same steps that you followed the very first time you jailbroke your device. The, all I'm doing here is showing you guys how to do this. Anyway, the next thing you want to do is take the same IPA file that you used the last time when you first jailbroke your device, which you may still be on your desktop. And if it's not, I'll leave links in the description to both Cydia Impactor and the Yalu 102 Beta 7 IPA file. Now, make sure this is the newest one because I know there are a couple different versions of Yalu 102, one that worked better on the 10.1.1 for old, uh, newer devices and then one that is available for all devices. Anyway, once you're plugged in and Cydia Impactor has recognized your device, all you want to do is take the IPA file and drag it on top of Cydia Impactor. Then it will basically prompt you for your Apple ID, username, and password. Now do note that if you do have two-factor authentication installed, you will need to take that away. I will have a separate video, possibly, or instructions down below in the description showing how to do that. Now, basically, you should have already gone through this uh, for, uh, the first time when jailbreaking your device, and especially if you did use your device by downloading the PGuy or Yalu 102, then you never really should get the warning saying Yalu 102 is not available. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do this, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that you have a uh, Run City Impactor, you have typed in your Apple ID information and you have finished, all you want to do is go back on your device in the exact same place and tap on Yalu 102. It should open perfectly and you should have no problem. Then just go ahead and once again hit go. Your device should, you know, respring. You'll get the little uh, storage almost full notification. And from there on, you should be good. Your jailbreak should reset and all of your tweaks should be reinstalled right back where they were. Pretty much all this is is just a seven-day time limit running out, and this is a very simple process. All you have to do is just plug it into your computer. It only takes a few seconds, log in with your Apple ID, and re-download Yalu. Once again, guys, this is Jacob from JC TechSpot. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.